As nations develop their industries and infrastructure, the demand for cement rises. But the World Cement Association is expecting a drop in cement's global demand by up to 22% by 2050. How can that be? Believe it or not, this is actually a good sign. You see, cement production is one of the largest source of CO2 emissions and global economies are now looking for eco-friendly products and thereby reducing their carbon emissions. One of the most popular being low carbon cement which lowers carbon footprints in various ways. For example, the US company Ron OK Cement has replaced traditional cement with fly ash and slag and has achieved whopping 83% reduction in their carbon emission. Another popular option is the carbon capture and storage method. The idea here is to store the carbon emissions underground and prevent contact with the atmosphere. Researchers are also replacing traditional clinkers used in cement by finding alternatives like geopolymer and limestone calcined clay cement. But how is all this relevant to us? Well, India is the second largest cement producer in the world and holds 8% of global installed capacity. And to stay relevant and compliant in the eyes of the government, companies need to adapt alternatives and greener technologies. In fact, there are several innovations seeking to entirely replace cement as a building material. Cross laminated timber and glue laminated timber are strong durable alternatives to cement and steel and can be used in high and mid-rise buildings. And even though technologies like CCS and new cement formulas and supplementary materials are at the nascent stage, if scaled correctly, they can help reduce carbon emissions significantly. So what does the future hold? China, the largest consumer, is likely to see reduction amid slowing down of urban growth and upgradation of existing urban areas. However, in the emerging markets like India, Nigeria, parts of sub-Saharan Africa may see rise in demand with rapid urban growth. The country would adopt the alternatives but the process would be slow. Do you think cement makers will adapt to these growing changes or are we going to see it being completely replaced with greener alternatives by 2050? Let me know what you think in the comments. Until next time, this is Pravi signing off.